Hello, everybody, and welcome to a scary October special episode. Not really special, we do this every month. <laughs> but it's the October edition of... Well, October 2024 edition of Free Game of the Month. And this month we're looking at a very peculiar game called 8-Bit Bayonetta. This is a very, very simple game of you have a shoot, and you have a jump, and you have a stand in place, and you also have a second shoot button so you can uh, really <laughs> crank out the bullets. <laughs> but this is just a very basic uh, high score game that was originally... Uh, it has a little bit of history behind it, and that is why uh, I want to showcase it. <laughs> because, uh, as you can see, gameplay is not the most uh, involved thing in the world. You can't even really move your character other than jumping. You have like a little, you have a jump and then a double jump, and then shooting. <laughs> there are the two types of enemies: that they're the flying ones, they're really annoying. And then the land ones that take a few shots, which are less annoying, and you can also dodge their uh, swings if you time your jump correctly. And it's one hit and you're out. So very basic, just high score setup of go for the highest score possible and see how well you fare. <laughs> now this game is rather interesting and has some history behind it. And that is that originally it was released as a April Fool's joke <laughs> by Sega. I don't know what it is about Sega, but they have some really good and high quality April Fool's jokes between stuff like this or the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog or the... Well, I don't remember what it was called, but the Endless Universe Dating Sim game. <laughs> they always have some really good April Fool's jokes. Up there with Mojang with the Minecraft snapshots. Oh no. You get to watch my garbage gameplay while doing this. Because this is going to be a bit of a shorter episode. Not too, too much to this game. But some very fascinating history behind it. So yeah, it was originally released as a... Uh, April Fool's joke on Steam. This is unfortunately exclusive to Steam and is technically delisted, but we'll get to that in a second. <laughs> uh, and uh, notably, there are Steam achievements, which are not too terribly difficult to get. Speaking of which, that was perfect timing. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that was incredible timing. <laughs> But yes, there are, I believe, 16 Steam Achievements. And if you get all of them, you can kind of, like... Steam Achievements have, like, a little icon picture associated with them. That is a lot. Um, and so if you get all of them, you can take those icons and stitch them together to make one large image I'll be showing now on screen of Bayonetta, and in that there is a hyperlink, not, I guess not a hyperlink because you couldn't click on it, but there, there's a, a web address, that is the more proper term for it, <laughs> more precise term. There's a web address there that if you punched that into your web browser of choice, it would take you to a countdown, and that countdown was uh, for the announcement of a PC port of the original Bayonetta game. Which I've not played, but <laughs> maybe one day. Heard good things about them. Yeah, so that there's that. But then the game was eventually delisted in I believe 2017. So you might be asking yourself, why am I showcasing <laughs> it on this if it's delisted? And that is because, um, at least at the time of recording. You can still technically get the game. Uh, again, if you punch uh, the following into your web browser, it should be showing on screen now. If you put that into your ouch, <laughs> your web browser of choice and have Steam open in the background, 
Uh, so if you put that in, enter, it'll probably, your web browser will probably ask you to like open Steam or something, and you do that, and then the game will be in your library. So you can still add it to your account even though the, the Steam page itself has been delisted. And so while it's not, uh, <laughs> the most interesting game in the world, from a gameplay perspective, I, I thought it was worth showing just uh, based on the fact of probably not too many people know about this game. And it is also just a very... just fascinating bit of Sega's history, especially with the Bayonetta franchise. We'll do maybe like one or two more rounds here because we've basically exhausted the entirety of the gameplay potential. But still, if you're this, this is if you're looking for a little bit of history or to add a basically delisted game to your Steam library, or just pick up a few very easy Steam achievements, then this is a pretty pretty decent game to do that. <laughs> ah, it, ah, the, the flying ones always get me. Okay, one more, one more, <laughs> one more. Then I shall wrap it up for this episode. It's all not the most in-depth game in the world. <laughs> Still very fascinating. And with that, I think I will call it here. So thank you very much for watching this very short episode of free game of the month october 2024 edition Ooh, very spooky very spooky and i hope you learned something new today <laughs> or maybe you even acquired a new game for your steam library oh no i can't shoot upwards <laughs> and with that thank you for watching have a great rest of your day take care stay hydrated and I'll see you next month or, you know, other of the series, but maybe take a look at other Let's Play videos that I do. <laughs> bye bye. Oh, yeah. Also, the, the link for the game will be in the description, so. You can copy paste it from there if you wish. OK, bye. <laughs>